to what do you attribute your extraordinary resiliency, your ability to just keep moving forward and thrive in a way that most people just simply wouldn't be able to? You know, I think one of the biggest things that I learned was, um, at first it was almost a coping mechanism. If When I came out of the, co the coma, you know, I, it felt like I, I couldn't grab the memory. So every time I tried to get the memory of what happened, it was like reaching for a glass of water and from behind bars and the water was always just out of my reach. So there was an essence of a memory, but I could not bring it back. So then um, it kept bothering me. And what I realized is I needed to turn my focus forward because I wasn't going to grasp that memory. And when I shifted my focus into learning and trying to get back on my path, and at that time I had to go, okay, what? I don't even know what my path was supposed to be. Before my accident, I wanted to be a cardiologist, but I didn't realize that for several years later, which is weird, but... Um, mm. It took, it's taken me, you know, many years to piece together my life again. But um, when I started having a forward facing goals to try to achieve, I'd do it in, I just need to live six months and accomplish these things. And then I'd think, I just need to live two years and accomplish these other things. So, and then I thought, if I can make it through four years, you know, so then I started creating four year chunks finish college, go to graduate school, start racing bikes, start, uh, you know, I just started doing different things and, and trying to get my mind back first, then my body back, and um, now I've built both of those uh, disciplines into my life and always looking forward and always being goal seeking instead of looking back because if you look back, uh, people ask me, well, don't you want to go get even with this guy or do mm. anything? But then that takes you back into a backward facing momentum instead of keeping forward facing where I can actually be a contributor in, in a productive human being in this life instead of somebody who's bitter. And now you're changing the world. Did you ever speak to the man? No, you know, I, it took me so long. I, I didn't speak for almost four years, so it took me a long time to learn to really speak. And by then, I, I had so many other things, goals and other things that were coming uh, in my life. And then, um, you know, when I got my sight back in so many years, oh my gosh, you know, I it was back in 1984. It's, it's hard to even imagine thinking about going back in time around that.